Hi, I'm Prof L and welcome to Chemistry Matters. And today we are going to be talking about enthalpy, in particular standard enthalpies of formation and how we can use these to calculate enthalpy changes for reactions. Okay, so you may have seen in a previous video that uh, we could use some Hess's law type calculations when it came to enthalpies and that is a consequence of enthalpy being a state function. Now there's more than one way of calculating reaction enthalpies and so today I'm going to show you another method which uses uh, things called standard enthalpies of formation. Okay. And um, what you will see in uh, textbooks and on the web and stuff like that, you'll see tables of values of standard enthalpies of formations of pretty much every possible compound that you can imagine out there. So we're going to use those data today to calculate the uh, standard enthalpy change for a particular reaction. That reaction being uh, ammonia, gaseous ammonia, plus gaseous HCl and that is going to react to give us good old solid ammonium chloride. Okay, so delta, whoops, delta RH standard is equal to what for that particular reaction, okay? So what data are we going to be given for this? Well, we're going to be given standard enthalpy of formation data, okay? Standard enthalpy of formation, delta FH naught, okay? And for ammonia, that is equal to minus 46.19 kJs per mole. And for HCl gas, that is minus 92.30 kJ per mole. And for ammonium chloride solid, H4Cl solid, that has a value of minus 315.4 kJ per mole. Okay, so um, what is the standard enthalpy of formation first up? Okay, standard definition for this is it is the standard enthalpy change for the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements in their standard states. Okay, so you've probably been given that verbatim definition in lectures uh, on your enthalpy. And the reason that this is so useful, these standard enthalpies of formation anyway, uh, is because we can use these values now to calculate uh, the enthalpy of reaction of any reaction. And all that we need to realize is that the enthalpy of any reaction is the difference between the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of the products minus the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of the reactants. Okay? So in other words, you sum up all of the standard enthalpies of formation on the right-hand side, subtract off all of the standard enthalpies of formation on the left-hand side, and that's it. So it's a very, very straightforward type of calculation, okay? So for this particular reaction, we're going to say, right, delta RH standard is going to be right-hand side minus the left-hand side. So it's going to be delta FH standard of NH4Cl solid minus the sum of the delta FH standard of NH3 gas plus uh, delta FH standard of HCl gas. Okay, so you can see what we've done there. It's quite simply standard enthalpies of formation of the right-hand side minus the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation on the left-hand side. Okay, so that then makes this uh, minus 315.4 kJ per mole minus Let's sum those guys up. And so that's minus 46.19 plus minus 92.3 kJ per mole. You do the calculation, you end up with 
minus 176.91 kJ per mole. Okay, um, a relatively straightforward um, calculation, this one. Fairly straightforward. Now, where can you go wrong on these? Um, <laughs> well, obviously, if you, get which, if you forget which way around to do things, you'll go wrong. Remember, it's always products minus reactants. Sum up all of your products and take away the sum of the reactants. That's the first place to go wrong. Hopefully, you won't do that. The easy way to go wrong, unfortunately, is where you've got all of these negative signs and in your equation you're subtracting off negatives and then you've got to remember to sum these guys, etc., etc. So you've got to remember to use brackets here and keep track of your negative signs. That's probably the easiest place or the most obvious place we can go wrong in calculations like this. Okay, so that's all well and good, but then you might be asking, why does this work? Why do the sums of the standard enthalpies of formation give you this? How, how does this work? Well, let's go ahead and show that this really is a good old Hess's law problem in disguise. Okay, and remember Hess's law, it doesn't matter how you carry out the reaction, um, you are still going to get the same answer. So let's write out now the equations for the standard enthalpy of formation of these components, okay? So the equation, remember, it's the formation of one mole of compound from its elements in their standard state. So for ammonia, that's going to give you a half N2 gas plus three halves H2 gas, and that's going to give you one mole of ammonia, NH3 gas, okay? And that has got a um, delta RH of minus 46.19 kilojoules per mole. Remember, all of these values in kJs per mole. HCl, how are we going to write that out as an, as an enthalpy of formation reaction? It's going to be a half H2 gas plus a half Cl2 gas and that's going to give you one mole of HCl gas, and that minus 92.30, okay? And then finally, for ammonium chloride, we're going to have a half N2 gas plus uh, 2H2 um, plus a half Cl2 gas, and that's going to go to one mole of ammonium chloride, and that's going to have your value minus 315.4. Now let's treat this as a Hess's law problem now. And let's go ahead and um, check everything, left hand side, right hand side, all of that good stuff. Ammonia, we're on the left hand side here, okay? So ammonia, uh, we want ammonia on the left hand side. Here's ammonia here, it's the only one it appears on, it's on the wrong side. So therefore we're going to have to reverse that equation there, okay, um, and then what are we going to do with these? So we've got HCl, so we've got one mole of HCl on the left, we've got one mole of HCl on the right, doesn't appear in any other one, so we're going to have to reverse this one as well, okay. And then what have we got? We've got ammonium chloride on the right hand side, we've got ammonium chloride on the right hand side, that's all good. Okay, that's where we want it to be. So therefore, we don't really have to do anything to this one. Okay, if we're going to reverse this and we're going to reverse this, then remember we reverse the sign. So let's reverse those signs and let's write out these equations. Okay, in the reverse. So what have we got? We've got NH3 gas goes to a half N2 gas plus three halves H2 gas. And then for the second equation, we've got HCl gas going to a half H2 gas plus a half Cl2 gas. Now we've changed the signs already, that's good. So now, hopefully, if we've done everything correctly, 
everything should cancel out. Let's see, we've got a half N2 and a half N2 on opposite sides, gone, okay. Uh, we've got two H2 here. Now we've got three halves H2 and a half H2. Three halves and a halves makes two. So two H2 will cancel out with those. And we've got a half Cl2 on the left-hand side. We've got a half Cl2 on the right-hand side. We should be all good to go. We've got NH3 gas plus HCl gas giving NH4 Cl. And let's just put a solid in there just to remember. And again, if you add these up now, you add up these numbers, then the answer that you're going to get, minus 176.91, it's the same answer as you got using the other method, or the supposed other method. So really, this method that I showed you in the first example is just an applied version of Hess's law. Okay, Everything really comes back down to Hess's law. So regardless of whether you're using standard enthalpies of formation to do these calculations, or actually writing out the equations and doing the whole Hess's law thing, it's the same thing essentially, same principle. Okay, so um, these principles that I've taught you about Hess's law and stuff like that, they're not only useful with enthalpy, but they're also useful with other thermodynamic functions that we are gonna come across in subsequent videos, entropy and Gibbs energy. Okay, so um, if you get all of this sorted for enthalpy, you've got entropy covered, you've got Gibbs energy covered as well. Okay, it's enough for the day, I think. So, um, happy studies, and we'll see you in the next video.